It's cold again. Chilly belly. Yeah. Time for the jeans. I know. Oh. I'm still wearing capris though. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing. I was tempted to put pants on again today, but I was like, well. Well, you know. You know. Oh my god. Oh. I know I was like work love for work and I was like, oh <clears throat> I was like jumping in the shower. And then I was, I was so cold and I'm like, yep. Yeah. So I, was like, I know, it's like freezing. Well, and you know, it warms up. It does. So it's warmer. And then I get deceived because then I leave my window open like a tiny little bit um, at night. And then I oh. wake up and I'm just freezing. I know the sun is so bright. It's blinding. Oh my God. Oh, so yesterday I made my Haitian neighbors pet my dog. You made them? Yes. Because there was like a, it wasn't really uncomfortable. It was just kind of weird. Like this one situation where they were in the parking lot and I was coming back from walking the dog and the dog gets so excited when he sees anyone, especially kids, but just anyone, if like anyone walks past us, like he feels like we need to stop to say hello. And so they were in the parking lot. It was the mom and the dad. This was like a few days ago. And we walked past and he got so excited. So I like waited thinking, or, you know, like I was just standing there cause they were like, Oh, he's, you know, so cute, whatever. But they like have very, very broken English, especially the mother. I don't think the mother speaks English at all. And like very little. And like, you could tell that they like didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like they were just like unsure, didn't know what to do, whatever. Well, last night, I had the dog out in the back and she must have been coming from the gas station or the grocery store or somewhere. And she had her two little boys who I don't know if they're twins or not. I think they are probably th maybe like three and four or they're both three years old. They're very young. Wow, there's a lot of traffic right mm -hmm. now. My goodness sakes. Um, and then she had the baby strapped on her back in this Jeez. like sarong thing. Like she walks, you know, and I think it's a little girl. Anyway, so it was just, so the husband wasn't there. So she was coming up like in the alley and I was in the back with the dog and, with, and she had the kids. And of course the dog is just going ballistic. Like, you know, I want to be pet, I, you know, whatever. And so um, she's like, oh, cute, cute, you know, but wasn't touching him or anything. And she like, she's like, hi, hi to the dog. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you want to pet him? And she looked at me like very confused, like wow. what? Like, and I'm like, pet him. And she's like, and then she's like, oh, touch, touch. And oh. I'm like, yeah, touch him. And then I thought, oh God, and here I am making her touch my dog. So I'm like, you can touch him if you want. And then I like turn my direction to the little boys. And I'm like, if you guys want to pet him, you can. And they kind of looked at me like, woman, you are crazy. <laughs> and so she went and like motioned. She's like, Oh, like this? Like no. For like to the dog. And she wasn't going to touch it. She's like, hi. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, let me pick him up. So I picked him up. And then she was still very <laughs> nervous. And I'm like, let me turn him over. Or like, let me turn him around so you can see his tail. I'm like, you can pet his tail. Because I'm thinking maybe the face is too much. So I'm like, oh. Pushing Poor my people. dog on these people. Poor, poor Pet people. my dog. Pet my dog. So the little boys, they like actually touched the tail. 
Because they're like, probably like, what does this woman making us do? And they kept on looking upstairs to their dad. And I think he was looking out the window, probably thinking, what is this wild woman doing yeah, probably. with her little dog <laughs> shoving the ass in my kid's face? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know. They didn't. Aww. But they are like the sweetest people ever. And the like the mom is just so kind. And I shouldn't say Haitian. I don't know what they are. I don't know what nationality they are, but they are just so kind. And the kids are always like very well behaved. Like they every, live in your building? Yeah, upstairs. Everyone's like directly above me. Every once in a while, I do hear a little, you know, screaming oh, well, with the kids, but they're very young. So that's well. expected. But like, I have had neighbors. <laughs> What's happening here? I've had neighbors where, I mean, they're just pounding and the parents are screaming at the kids and I never ever hear them raise their voice to their kids. So that's good. Because if it were me, I'd probably you would be, be screaming, screaming, all, the time. screaming all the time, pounding all the time. Something. But yeah. Oh, that sun. It's so bizarre like flashing in my eyes. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. So that was my excitement for yesterday. I had all my candles lit, though, and it smelled so good in my home. It's nice. That's nice. Judge Judy. Oh, jeez. Yes. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, one of our fans, um, or followers, I should say, Greg, says hi to you. Hello. He wanted to say hi to you. Hello. So, yes. Hello, Mr. Greg. I hope you're having a good day. Yes, it's I told a him, day. I told him to get outside and take a little walk. Fresh air always makes things better. Yes, for me, anyway. And when the I storm is hitting. Yeah, you know, in Florida. When I get stressed Florida, out, we feel for you. Yeah, I really hope that everyone took the appropriate cover. I know, and I apparently my niece did not. Why are people staying? Well, they interviewed this one lady. I mean, she's like, we feel that the best place is for us to stay now because we didn't want to get stranded on the highway. And oh, run out of gas. maybe because there's no flights left. And there's no, no flights. There's no um, like they're running out. Of, they're running out of gas. Holy shit! But in the same respect, this didn't just come up yesterday. Right. Everybody didn't have to wait till the last minute to leave. Right. But somebody also said that like flights regularly were like 1,500 and then the airlines bumped it up to $3,000 for these I, people to try to get out. Is that true? I, that I don't know, but I know that a, bunch, that's of, horrible. a bunch of the airlines added flights for people to get out. Oh, so maybe that was a lie also. Uh, like one of them <laughs> added like 3,000 seats available another i mean it was just well i don't know who to believe anymore know, this whole fucking media was, uh, is just crazy yesterday was the last that the flights were going out i mean who's telling the truth anymore we can't even watch i mean well i shouldn't say that like three years ago we couldn't watch our news either no. because you didn't know who to believe which that is a right i feel like like there should be a law about fake news. Yeah. Honestly, I really do. I feel like there needs to be a law in the United States that states that news that goes out to the Americans needs to be fact checked every single time. So we are getting the correct news because it's just so. Well, because that's crazy. what leads, leads to a lot of our issues because yes. people believe some of the stuff. <clears throat> and if it's not true, well, then they act out on that yes. falsehood. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is that I have spoken with people from all over the world, all over the world, in the Middle East. I've spoken with people in, um, like, England area. 
I've spoken like a whole bunch of people all over the world and everyone says that it is a well-known thing that American news is all false. Like they said that the news that we're getting also about other countries is also all false. It's all. But then the same respect, how, how do you really believe them? You know, what I, I do mean? That, I don't because know. they said, if you want, if you want like to know the truth, um, stream one of our news stations because well, yeah, they, they don't lie them. over there. They can put whatever they want on theirs. Too. I don't think they do, though. I honestly, I no, really I'm just, don't. That's how much I don't. I just, I'm like, I don't know. I just think that in the we, overall scheme of things, I don't know who. Right. It's just bullshit. Yeah, I believe I would believe them over us. Who is he walking with? Who's that lady? No idea. Is that one of his daughters? No. I was going to say it doesn't look like it. No, but that I'm so glad that we did cancel because. Well, I mean, besides the fact that we wouldn't have been able to get out. Yeah. Um, Fort Myers Beach had said that their swells could be 10 to 12 feet now. It's insane. Insane. And then they were saying, the, the lady from FEMA yeah. said, so if you live in like a single story home, mm -hmm. so you're, like you're a ranch, done. whatever. And if the surge is 15, she said, your house is just, it's. Because that's above sea level. Right. So it just... It's going to be over. That's why I just don't understand. How are they going to rebuild? It's going to take years. They showed... So... Part of the attractions for a lot of people for Fort Myers Beach was their pier. It okay. went out. I guess it was just beautiful. I obviously never saw it. Yeah. But it was just long and it was just beautiful and had... Um, from my understanding, it was kind of like a boardwalk type thing. As okay. In whatever. Well, they showed it today, and it's not even halfway rebuilt in the two years that it was just after being destroyed by Ian. Oh, I didn't know that. And so now it's Good just, God. Just... Yeah. Didn't they say... Didn't they say, like, when was that? Or was that California? Uh, for some odd reason, now I'm thinking, they said that eventually... Florida was just going to get cut off and flown away. And then California was also going to disconnect and float away. Didn't they say that? I, I've heard things Why about California. I, feel... I have not about Florida. I'm like getting a saying... deja vu. That's not saying that it's not. I I specifically remember California. Like, yeah. I remember Izzy saying that California eventually is just going to like disconnect from the United States and float away. But the way Florida is, like, coming down there, you know what I mean? Like, the way the state is shaped, it could just, like, cut off at the tip. So, I just away. wonder some... <laughs> Oh, what's that squirrel doing? I was watching it. A little black squirrel. He's got a big nut. Better go fast. I got a little vertigo last night. I woke up at 3 a.m. because I was... I had the wildest wildest dream last night it included my ex it i don't know where he came from and why he traveled into my mind but there he was <laughs> yeah we were and it was weird i don't even know if we were together or what was happening but he was there and we were in a house and he like he like we were friends it was the weirdest thing and then my sister was there and she was riding on a scooter. It it was so un... And then, like, she fell into this ditch. And he was there. And we were trying to get her up. And I was screaming at my mom, saying, Why would you let her ride on a scooter like this? Like, where the hell are you? Like, I was so pissed. And I don't know why he was there. But it was just the weirdest thing. And that, those are the only two people in my dream was him and my sister and me. And I was screaming yep. at my mom. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. But it means something. Uh-oh. Anywho, here we go. Off on our day. Pray for us. Yes. We're going to need it. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Another day, another dollar. I didn't even do my hair this uh -oh. morning.
I know I saw that. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.